Uh, what's going on guys? It's Eric back with another video. And she just hit 183,000. All right guys, so we are starting today in the GTI. Um, I was waiting for it to hit 183,000. I was hoping it'd be a little closer to home so I can do the oil change right at 183. Um, I'll probably be at 183. One by the time I get to the house, but it's all right. So that's what we're doing today, guys. We're gonna do some uh, maintenance to the car, uh, rotate the tires, and uh, I think that's it. Might do a little extra for you guys today with the exhaust, um, but other than that, um, let me get to the house and get this oil change started, guys. All right, guys. So I let the car cool off for a little bit. I went and drove this one, it did great until right about, before I got to the house, started flashing a little bit, but it's all right, still got to cool in, I'll put a little more, and it um, should be fine. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen up the bolts all the way around, um, because I am going to do the uh, tire rotation as well, along with the oil change. Just, uh, you know, regular maintenance for the vehicle. Um, maybe I'll take off the exhaust if I'm not too lazy, but yeah, guys, let's get to it. What's going on, guys? Uh, today's what, Saturday? Saturday. Finished with the old change last night, and I didn't really get to do anything much after that. Um, well, we went to a car meet, but I, I, wanted, I wanted to record the exhaust, but I forgot to. Um, but anyways, right now, I got about a... 25 minute drive out. 2.6 miles. Turn right to merge onto I 10 East. Out to uh, the south side. I'm going to meet up with the guy to look at some wheels. They're called Alzors, I believe. They're like the BBS reps. Um, they, they're 18s. And so they should. work with my car i mean i have 18s on it right now but i think the tires that he's got on them might not clear so i'm gonna try to bring him down a little bit on the price um but yeah so i'll let you know when we get there and i'll show you all the wheels so these are the wheels they're all dirty but uh they are 18s the tires on them are kind of sh well not kind of they are shot um but i'm just gonna put them on the car real quick to see if i like them if he has a jack that'll clear my car. Well guys, uh, we bought them, so I guess I have new wheels. They looked kind of, uh, I could see the potential in them if I put stretch tires on it, or my tires on these wheels. Um, but I did kind of, uh, I brought them down a lot actually. I got them for a pretty good price, so I'm not really worried about it. We'll clean them up and maybe swap tires. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys. I'll test fit them. I'll test fit them right. Maybe tomorrow. Um, and then show you guys what they look like on all four corners of the car. Okay, all right, guys. So these are the wheels. My buddy Jesse, if I remember his car, the Bag CC, basically the same wheels, except he has a bigger lip than I do. But uh, whenever they're cleaned up, and I might repaint, spray them chrome like his. But yeah, I, I'm pretty excited about this. I'll strip the tires off, clean them up, swap these tires from these wheels onto these new wheels, and put them on the car. We well, should be good. Then we'll get the car tuned, and that's pretty much all we got left on it. Must be nice to be bagged. morning guys um i know i haven't recorded much but last night i got home around 12 and i decided i wanted to disconnect the clamp that connects my catalyst delete downpipe to my stock exhaust and well let's just say that we got all the noises now Just y'all hear it whenever I take off. I'm at a red light right now though. I'll get a starter for you guys and whatever. It 
it's a lot louder you can definitely hear the turbo and man it pops when it pops it's loud well the car is loud itself now too y'all you'll, you'll hear it whenever i take off if this light ever turns green give me a second if I want to do the video setting the phone down here the cars right there or uh, take it with me in the car nah I'll just leave it here y'all y'all will be able to hear it though trust me uh, <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, so like I said, I mean, I'm still gonna put a muffler on it because it's, uh, it's a bit loud when I get on it and raspy. Um, it almost sounds like a 1.8 on a Mark IV. But um, anyways, that's what the car sounds like right now. Um, yeah, guys, I'm gonna get those wheels taken off of the oh, tires off of the wheels, get that one cracked one fixed, and then swap these tires over eventually. So yeah, for now, I'll catch you guys later, right, guys. Well, here we are, gonna replace the spark plugs again because the car started acting really, really weird. Sounded like a fucking Subaru. And I was bogging out and shit. So, we're gonna throw, I got some NGK Iridiums, step seven supposedly. So let's see if this does a trick. Hopefully, because uh, this is really frustrating. All right guys, so it's been, hours actually um it's like 12 i think um but as y'all can hear she is idling very smoothly um right now at least and um the actually the check engine light turned off guys um see if i can turn this around see that turned off so i think i think she is good to go sorry that i'm all sweaty and shirtless i was gonna you know shower and uh yeah that didn't happen because i was just thinking and thinking and thinking about the car stressed out and stuff so i came outside and messed with it um i also put that jb weld stuff on the ac line so Maybe um, tomorrow or something I can go have them recharge it. Um, yeah, guys, I mean, I might take it out for a little test drive right now. Depends on uh, how I feel. Yeah, I think I am. Um, not go too hard on it, but I just want to see how it's going to ride now with the right spark plugs and the coil, the coil pack uh, replaced. Because, um, what's it called? It has no check engine light and it has the right spark plugs in it now, so it's not idling all funky now either. A little bit, a little bit, but it's because the ECU, I guess, is trying to like compensate for that PCB block off plate, like I said earlier. So once we get it tuned, it should be good. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna take it out for a little test drive and see how she does. Oh man, you guys have to hear this. Not ready. No 
check engine light. Jesus Christ, I haven't seen this car without a check engine light in so fucking long. Since I got the car, really. Oh, oh yeah. We're back in business, baby. Shots fired, shots fired. Oh man, this feels so good guys, I don't even understand. There's a little security man beside me. He's trying so hard not to look over. for a little cruise around the block. I got my uh, my dog with me. Maybe a couple clips came off of the shield on the bottom. It was hanging a little lower than what it was. Well, I mean, I hit that shit hard as fuck, but nothing's broken. The car's not broken. The check engine light is fixed. The idle is fixed. I am beyond, beyond happy about it. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video and have you guys a good night. We'll see you guys in the next one.